I see a lot of criticisms to the wheel right now because it's in a bear market, right? If you're running the wheel in a bear market, you're going to be losing money. That's not the point. The point is not to make money necessarily, except for to make income to buy the dips. The point is, where where else are you going to put your fucking money? Hmm? You tell me. You're going to put it in the housing market as the housing market corrects because mortgage rates are going up? Are you going to put it in bonds and uh, watch as your money disappears because uh, the value of bonds are dropping as interest rates go up, if you don't hold the maturity anyway? Uh, we, where, where, where are you going to park your money? Okay, besides like I bonds, huh? Where are you going to park it? In cash, sure, you could do that, uh, and you can dollar-cost average, or you can hope that you time the bottom, although usually people aren't very good at that. Or you could just take a portion of your portfolio and run the wheel on it, and yeah, of course you're going to lose money. That's not. I'm not trying to say that you run the wheel, you're going to make money in a bear market. That's not, that's not going to happen. You're going to lose money. The risk of the wheel strategy is always that you're going to end up bag holding, that it drops too fast, you're selling covered calls above your cost basis or wherever, and the premium just sucks because the, the stock drops so fast, and uh, you're poopy about it. But it's always better to be running the wheel than it is just to buy one round lot of the stock in the bear market. The wheel will outperform 100 shares of that stock in a bear market or if the market is trading flat or rising very slowly. So that's the benefit of the wheel is that you're generating income off your shitty tanking stock position that you can then use to buy more of that shitty tanking stock position and buy the dip average down and get ready to make some big money over the next decade. Okay, so the wheel strategy, when I say trade the wheel strategy in a bear market, I'm not saying you're going to make money. Everybody's losing money literally everywhere. It's hard to find a spot to park your money where you're not losing money. Even if you do it in cash, you're burning it up through inflation, okay? Not easy times to make money all of a sudden. Everyone went from making money out of their butt, you know, through all the stimulus, and now we're feeling the, the headache from that. We're having the hangover, and everyone uh, doesn't know where to park the cash. And I'm just saying it's one way to do it, one way to do it that will reduce losses and you're not going to be selling covered calls across your entire portfolio and then it bounces and you lose all your shares and you have to pay taxes on it. You know, I'm just saying take a portion of your portfolio and commit it to the wheel. Don't half-ass the wheel. Commit it to the wheel. It's a way of diversifying, just like bonds. But in this case, the face value of the bonds is not decreasing as interest rates rise. Because when interest rates rise, bonds values decrease because there's new bonds that are being issued at higher rates. So those older bonds with lower coupon rates have to decrease in value so that they're attractive for people to buy. Otherwise, people just buy the newer bonds with higher rates. So those prices have to be reflected by a decrease in the face value of the bond. So nowhere's fucking safe. I'm not saying you're going to make money running the wheel. All right, damn. I'm just saying it's uh, better than just buying and holding 100 shares right now. And uh, again, don't do it across your whole portfolio. I mean, you could... You probably wouldn't lose money in the long run, uh, but it's probably not optimal. Just take a section of your portfolio. And if you can't just take a section of your portfolio because it's going to be, you know, too expensive, your portfolio is too small, don't even fucking bother, bro. Just do your normal work and buy the dip and dollar cost average and all that normal stuff, all right? Don't sweat it. That's all I have to say. You know, because I posted a video just like five seconds ago talking about the wheel strategy and everyone's like, yeah, well, I'm bag holding shit. That's the risk of buying stocks dumbass sorry you're not you guys aren't dumbasses you guys are it's true you you are, well some of you guys are dumbasses let's be honest i'm a dumbass sometimes uh well how do i backpedal that one because i'm not going to edit that, that out um uh a, a lot of the guys are saying yeah but you bag hold shares what happens when it's the stock tanks it's like i asked the same question when you bought you know snap half a year ago or whatever or any company, like a good, even good companies they like. AMD, great company, right? But just because of the economic backdrop, not doing so hot. Just like all the other stocks with rising rates and, and just global economic problems that are all compounding. So I kind of lost my train of thought there. But my point is, you're not going to make money running the wheel. You're going to lose less money. Okay? You lose less money and you make income to buy the dip. So don't say I said you're going to make money. All right, everybody's losing money. It's just, how can you lose money in the most fashionable way possible? Losing money in style, and that's uh, that's running the wheel. 
or buying bonds and holding to maturity because yields are pretty high and people are like the bond market's tanking oh my god but when the yields when the interest rates are low people are like bonds are unattractive why would i buy bonds because this is not my house by the way okay everyone's gonna be mad because it's gofundme this is not my, my parents house because i can't live on my own i can't function anyway people are like uh um you know they're like the bond market's tanking bonds are a horrible place to park your money uh but the yields are super high even on any any treasury notes treasury bonds whatever the other ones are called any uh maturation of treasuries is over four percent that's a great interest rate yeah maybe not against the backdrop of, of high inflation but it's still a great interest rate and uh people are saying bonds are a horrible place to park your money because the face value of bonds are decreasing because interest rates are going up and those face values have to decrease. But if you hold a bond to maturity, you're always going to get par value. So that decrease in the bond value is going to go back up to that $1,000 that uh, the, the par value of the bond is worth. So temporary decreases in bond prices don't matter. So, um, fuck was I saying? So, but when interest rates are low, people are saying bonds are not worth your time. And now interest rates are high and people are saying bonds aren't worth your time because as interest rates go up, the face value of bonds go down temporarily before they mature so it's like when do you win when do you win you you lose because the interest rates the, the coupons are low when interest rates are low you lose when coupon or when interest rates are high because the face value of the bond decreases so when do you fucking buy bonds newsflash idiot it's right now because even in bond funds when interest rates go up yes there's temporary pain but as the bond fund cycles out new bonds with higher yields they sell the ones they have and buy ones with higher yields and the ones that they're holding reach maturation and uh the face value goes from low back up to that thousand dollar power value it's going to recoup the losses and then some so everything's about how long you hold bonds and bond funds and not worrying about the temporary price fluctuations unless you're like an actual bond trader where you're just trading the bond price fluctuations i got off on a tangent bro damn um so anyway, the, the point is, yes, the wheel is not going to make you money. It's going to make you. It's going to help you lose less money. All right, people who are wheeling at the top of the stimulus, call it bubble or whatever you want, are pretty mad right now because all their stocks are tanking. But so is everybody. You should be happier though if you were wheeling on a good stock because you were making premium as the stock was going down. So you lost less money than if you just bought a hundred shares outright. Now, if you bought a hundred shares of the stock only to run the wheel and you would have never bought a hundred shares otherwise. That's your fault. Uh, you put too much of your portfolio into one position, and now you're salty that that one position is down. But even if you had diversified, you'd still be fucked, okay? Doesn't matter if you did SPY, QQQ, VTI, VTI, 60, you know, 60, 40, 68 percent equities, 40 percent bonds. Technically, you know, you all across the board, you'll be fucked. So I'm, it's just a, a way to lose less money, and uh, you won't have to deal, you know, it's similar to bonds, you know, you deal, you deal with price fluctuations, but eventually that bond reaches its par value with stocks. You deal with this price fluctuation, but you're going to be uh, making some income off of it by selling covered calls as it's, you know, since it's tanked. And uh, eventually that stock price will rise back up again and you'll start selling puts and you can make capital gains on, on the stock as well. My brain's farting now. I, I went way too high energy right off the rip, and now it's just totally gassed. Uh, anyway, you catch my drift. So uh, that, that's it. <laughs> that's it. All right. Love you guys very, very much. Uh, I mean, everything was good intention. Now, I'm at my parents' place right now, and I just want to show you. Uh, I hope my mom doesn't mind me showing you guys, but look look at this. Uh, to me, it looks like garbly good because my brain's fried out, but look at look at that view, huh? Pretty good. I can't. Uh, it's not much better place to be uh, in a horrible mental state. With my brain frying out my butt. Um, although I much prefer to be taking care of myself, wiping my own bottom. Anyway, I'm not gonna get into that. All right. Thanks, guys. Peace out. Love you.